The main thing that sticks out for me is the level of detail the audio team and the wider development team have gone to to capture that. It's amazing. And being able to sort of give that to the player will be one of the like absolute joys of this project. The F1 engine sound is a crucial part of the uh, viewing experience. It's a crucial part of our game. So it's really, really important for us to do that justice and to have the most accurate engine sounds we can. We've taken the assets directly from Formula One, from the actual cars. The audio code in our game chooses the correct asset depending on what kind of corner it is, how fast the car's going, um, what the weather conditions are. We have rain on the chassis. There's uh, a load of different crowd assets crowd is, is quite dynamic, so it responds to what happens in the race. Changing to an onboard view, we have a completely different set of sounds. You get a really throaty, angry sounding engine. We also have transmission sounds, the suspension rattling when the car speeds up. With a little bit of magic, it sounds like it does on the TV broadcast. The dialogue system, and, and specifically the radio comm system, is all from the actual races. Real recordings from the drivers themselves speaking with their engineers on the radio. We've been delivered around 25,000 lines of dialogue there's a number of events that can happen in game that will trigger these real life lines. So as a player, when you're making your strategy changes, you'll hear your engineer or your driver respond or make a call out to match what you're doing. One of the really exciting aspects of, of this project has been working with our commentators, Crofty and Karun. They're sort of some of the most recognisable voices in, in F1. Being able to add that to our game was one of the key aims from the outset. OK, David, ready to go when you are? Welcome to the home of Formula One. We're in Great Britain at the magnificent Silverstone Circuit. I feel really privileged to be part of this wonderful game where you can be a team principal, where you can make the decisions that affect directly what happens on the track. But there's no good having that game without all the sights and the sounds of the track itself. The team of writers at Frontier put together a script of the scenarios that they can see unfolding in the game. We've had a collaborative approach. You know, they've sent both Crofty and me thousands of lines, and then we've tweaked them and adapted them and used our own words in a way that we would use on a television broadcast. So we've tried to make it as authentic as possible. Hopefully, when people play the game, that'll come through. I'm loving the fact that I'm going to be immersed in this game and providing one of the key voices of it. I'm really excited about this. And it's lights out, and away we go!